We're with Jason Knapp, 2009 Lakewood Blue Claws pitcher. Jason's from New Jersey. Jason, what town are you from? I'm um, from Clinton, New Jersey. You're from Clinton, New Jersey, and you were drafted in the second round last year, so it's got to be exciting. What were your feelings when you were drafted and it was by the Phillies? Is that something you were hoping for? Well, you know, you never know uh, come draft time who's going to pick you, but I'm, you know, I feel real fortunate to be picked up by the Phillies. They got a bunch of affiliates up here, uh, you know, by where I live, and, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a definitely a great opportunity. Now, when you were growing up, in, in, growing up in this area, were you a Yankee fan, Mets fan, more than likely? Well, you know, I grew up, I definitely grew up a baseball fan. I used to watch all the games. My dad's a big sports fan, and we, he took me to Shea Stadium, Yankee Stadium. I've been to, you know, I watched, I went to Phillies games. I went to, you know, and it was, you know, it was, it was great growing up just being a sports fan. Yeah. Uh, I never was really a fan of a particular team, but, you know, I was a fan of, fan of the area of sports. Yeah, we're fortunate in this, in growing up in this area because of, especially with any sport, but baseball with the Yankees, Mets, and Phillies. We grew up in our family as Met fans. Um, but we went to more Philly games than anything. So for myself, getting an opportunity to play for the Phillies to me was, I mean, obviously our, your dream, our dreams is to play in the big league someday. Um, and once that was established for me, wearing a Philly uniform was the proudest I ever was. To get to be a, at the vet before they had the new stadium, being on that field and, and all the times we got to go there as a kid. Um, are you already starting to imagine like what that'll be like someday to walk out on a big league field or are you not going to jump too far ahead? Well, you know, at this point, here at this open practice, the most people I pitch in front of. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely an honor to wear the, you know, wear the P on your hat. It's, you know, I mean, all the history, you know, you know it really is an honor to, to play for the Phillies and, and, or at least in the minor leagues. And I definitely look forward to, you know, hopefully the near future. Yeah. Now, have you set any goals for yourself? Like, the season's just getting started. I know myself, when I pitched, every year you kind of try to have some type of a goal. Um, have, have you done that, whether it be wins or, or, or certain pitches you might want to work on? Well, you know, you never, I mean, I don't have like a, a goal as far as numbers, um, but I definitely, you know, I've been given, given the opportunity to work with great pitching coaches in, in spring training, and, and they and they gave me basically, you know, the rundown of what I should be working on. Um, you know, they want me to they want me to try to keep my pitch count down, which I'm, I'm definitely going to try to work on uh, throughout the season. I'm going to throw a lot of off speed and change ups and, you know, try to, you know, try to put away hitters with, with you know, as, as few pitches as possible. Right. Yeah. And you're a power pitcher. So coming up with a change, it will definitely be huge for, for the progress of your career. I always set my goals too high because I always set the goal to win in every game. <laughs> well, every game I ever. Sure. Yeah. Right. I, I did it every time I warm up in the bullpen. I'd say I'm going to throw a no hitter today. Next game. I obviously I didn't do it. Next game. I'm throwing no hitter today. Thinking, maybe my goals are too high. I got to go in the office once with Dusty Baker, and he said, "Light, how many games do you think you can win this year?" And I said, "All of them." <laughs> so he goes, I'm, "Yeah, he goes, I'm being serious." And I said, "Well, score 15 runs a game, and I'll win them all." You know what the heck? Now I've met your dad. Uh, I, I know he loves baseball and a nice man. Um, how excited is he that you're playing local? I mean, he's, uh, he's definitely excited. He, he and my mom will be able to come down and catch some games. Hopefully, you know, all my friends. I, don't know, I live an hour and a half away, which is great. You know, like I said, I feel so fortunate to be playing with a bunch of affiliates up where, you know, up in the northeast where I'm yeah. from. Yeah. Now, Lee, how far is Lehigh Valley Stadium? Is that Coca-Cola? And this Lehigh? What is that? Coca-Cola Stadium? The Phillies AAA? I think it's, it's, Le in it's, Lehigh, it's, Valley, it's in yeah. Lehigh Valley. It's in Lehigh Valley. <laughs> I thought it was Lehigh Valley Stadium. I think it's Coca-Cola Stadium in Lehigh Valley. Yeah, I mean, so that would be that would be nice. Now, what about your feeling of being down here in, in Lakewood and, and the Jersey Shore? Does, does that add anything to for, for the summer to make it special at all? Well, I mean, it's great. You know, it's great to be down by the shore, and it's great. You know, I know a few people down here from from through baseball and through through the people I've met, and you know, it's great. I feel like it's a nice area. I've only been here a couple days at this point. I, you know, I, I don't have a lot of experience down here, but I think it's, you know, I, I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, you'll have a good time. But to the fans out there, Jason is sweet spot worthy on a baseball. Sweet spot, you just get Jason's name on it because uh, hopefully we're talking with, and I think we are, a future big league pitcher with the Philadelphia Phillies. Jason, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice. Nice job, and good luck. Man.